this surface integral, um, double integral of the function with respect to the surface, I remember f of x, y, z might be density, so this would calculate mass. And our particular density function is given here. f of x, y, z is x plus 3z. And here's our surface. Parametric form this time. So the goal for this is to set up this integral and evaluate it if it's not too terrible. Now remember, this is x, and this is y, and this is z. So this particular surface integral requires us to find a number of pieces. Remember, ds is given to be magnitude of the cross product of the two parcel derivatives of the surface. So we set this up. And I, J, K, if I do the matrix form of this, which we've done a number of times, uh, with respect to u, we get negative 2 sine of u. Oops. Negative sine of u. Cosine of u and 0. Go back to the surface itself to get this partial derivative. And the v partial derivative is 0, 0, and 2. If I write this in component form afterwards, the i component is 2 cosine of u. The j component is 2 sine of u. And the k component, or the z component, is 0. The magnitude of this cross product will be a familiar one for us. I'm going to just jump to the answer, but you really should stop and do this calculation and not depend on the video to feed all of it to you. I'd hate to have too many spoilers. So I think we're ready. The goal is to evaluate that surface integral. The author of the problem gives us the, the u and the v boundaries. I'll write it at the end. The x component of the surface is cosine of u plus 3 times the z component of the surface, which is 2v. The magnitude of that cross product was 2, and then this is with respect to v, then with respect to u. v goes from 0 to 3, and u goes from 0 to pi over 2. All right, let's integrate. First antiderivative is going to be, what is it going to be here? So 2 times v cosine of u plus 3v squared. And v is evaluated from 0 to 3. Then we'll later integrate with respect to u. When v equals 0, we get zeros for both terms. And when v is 3, I believe we're going to get 2 times the integral, 0 to pi over 2 here, 0 to pi over 2, uh, 3 cosine u plus 27. slider up here equals 2 times, and we have to integrate. The integral of cosine is sine. That's 3 sine of u. Integral of 27 is 27u. And u goes from 0 to pi over 2. And sine of pi over 2 is 1, so that's going to be 3 plus 27 times pi over 2. And if you let u equal 0, you're going to get zeros in both of those terms. And when we distribute the 2, we're going to end up with 6 plus 27 pi. And it's mass, so maybe it's in grams or kilograms. The units weren't provided, so we can't do more than that right now. But there's our solution.